What's up, everyone, and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, brought to you by TVCaptive.com. Uh, season 1, episode 12, To Catch a Thief. This week, um, Will's first encounter with Alice is revealed. The Jabberwocky takes things into her own hands. Amara is finally free from the staff. Cyrus's death causes Amara to team up with Jafar. And unfortunately, Once Upon a Time in Wonderland has been cancelled. Uh, I am your host, Dom, a.k.a. The Caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> with me, I have my co-host, Rachel. Hello. How, how's, how's it going? It's going pretty good. You, yeah. you, you, you look like you've added a couple legs. Yeah, just just a few. So you can get there faster. Yeah, of course. Okay. So, uh, how are you tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Doing, yeah. feeling really good, you know. Yeah. I I released the kraken. Ooh, spiced <laughs> rum. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of chilling here. I can't really move. Um. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, what did you think of this episode? Um, it was good. Um, I'm a little sad to hear about the ending part, but, you know, kind of put a damper on the whole thing. What, the ending part that, that Cyrus is killed? Mm, the ending part that they're canceling the show. Well, at least they they stated beforehand going into the season that they were going to wrap everything up and, and tie it all yeah. off in a nice little bow and answer every question that we needed answered. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. It just seems like it, it should have had a couple more episodes. There's a lot of these ends. Well, they had a lot of filler episodes mm-hmm. that didn't need to happen. So... No, like, especially the ones with her father probably didn't need to happen so much. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I, I think that'll pay off in the, the end. Because we haven't seen him in a few episodes now. and kinda Maybe she will get her happily ever after. Mm. Maybe. 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 So this this week we had a lot of Nave of Hearts flashbacks, and we've never really seen Will in this particular role. We've seen him pre Wonderland. Mm-hmm. We've seen him when he first arrived in Wonderland. We've seen him what drove him and Anastasia apart. Yeah. Then we saw him come back to Wonderland with Alice and all these adventures and stuff like that. But uh, we've never actually seen him as the Nave of Hearts. Uh, so. Yeah. What did, what did you think of these uh, these scenes? It was interesting. It just, uh, I mean, at first you're like, it doesn't seem like him. But then you get to realize, you know, the queen's basically controlling him because she has his heart. Mm-hmm. So technically, I guess it kind of isn't him. <laughs> his true true self. But, you know, yeah, he's a thief and that's what he does. And he's observant. And even with the head of, I guess he was the head of the guardsman or something, was pissed off at him because he's like, we're trained, you're not, you know. But he's observant, as he said. He sees things that they're they're not trained to do. Right. Because as a thief, you always have to watch. (laughs) Watch everything. Yeah. Um... So, were you surprised that the the reason the knave was was tagging along with Alice in the first place was because she had his heart and basically used compulsion to keep him there? Uh, that was interesting. I would never have thought that. But then again, you know, when they first met, they were two different people than they are now. Right. She hadn't met Cyrus, um, you know, and he was just kind of a drifter. Just recently got his heart ripped out, literally and figuratively. Um, <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they were two different people, and uh, together I think they just kind of grew. And she just realized that he didn't need. She didn't need that. Right. Um, why do you think Will chose not to put his heart back in? Too much pain. Yeah, but it's easier without it. It is easier not to feel, not to feel guilty, not to feel anything seemed like he wasn't enjoying not having his heart in and then he seemed really like you know we we know because the whole anastasia thing mm-hmm. but um i don't know it seemed like he wanted it 
and then when he got it, he changed his mind. And that, I think what exactly at that moment made him change his mind? I think he wanted it, so he wasn't controlled by the Queen or by Alice or anyone. But I don't think he he didn't want to put it back in cut. He didn't want to feel that pain. Yeah, pretty much. You know, anyone can understand heartbreak. It's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> if you say so. Um, <laughs> yeah, but then, then we saw he, he got his heart back in last week and then she was killed in front of him. So that was horrible. Is, is that, is that worse than heartbreak? No, no, I don't know. I don't know. It's heartbreak all over again. Yeah. Just a different kind. Yeah. Cause this way he'd never get, he can never have her back Mm-mm. because she's dead. Because she's dead. Um, so we think. <laughs> no, she's dead. She is dead. That that is that's official. She is dead. But um, whether or not she'll come back, that's another story. Um, she'll be a Walking Dead. Yeah, exactly. We get some, that's <laughs> that's why it was canceled because they're crossing over to the Walking Dead. Oh God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would be horrible. That would be amazing. But um, Will said to Alice that if the tables were reversed. Uh, and this was her only way to get Cyrus back, that she would do it. Uh, I know we kind of discussed this a little bit last mm -hmm. week, but she seemed to really put in some contemplation into that question. Just the look on her face seemed that she would. And she was only going along with Cyrus's decision because it was his brothers and stuff. So if, uh, if that wasn't a factor... Like, if the brothers if were not a factor in this, do you think um, Alice would 100% follow Will? It's, it's, I think she's torn. She's, like, you know, being pulled in all different directions. So, I mean, it's hard to, I mean, if his brothers, if she never met Cyrus and never had this, then yeah, of course, she probably would, because he's, he's her friend. Mm -hmm. And... And, of course, Will said, you know, basically that she's being selfish. And she was. And she has been. Because she's only after, was only after one thing, was trying to get Cyrus back. Yeah. You know, I don't think she's meant to be selfish, but that's what happened. Because she's just focused on one thing. Whatever happened outside that one thing just didn't matter. Right. Um... Then we saw the Jabberwocky kind of have this, her own little role in all this. Um, she confronted them on her own without Jafar's knowledge and all this, and um, she was basically hinting at the fact that um, Amara had a bigger role to play in all this, and um, we see them all kind of concoct a plan together, and the Which Jabberwocky... Yeah, the Jabberwocky ends up leading Cyrus into uh, the palace um, to to be Jafar's new prisoner, or mm -hmm. prisoner again, I should say. Um, yeah. Will and Alice sneak in. Um, Will makes a big distraction knowing that Jafar is going to call him and poof him out of there. Like, we see that whole thing play out. Um, we see Alice sneaking in. We don't... She, uh, I don't, she snuck I mean... in. She got the, the salt in a way. But... Um, then we saw we saw Amara, right? Yeah. So for the first time since yeah. The so do you think that Jabberwocky was responsible for freeing Amara, or do you think she Amara might have had information? Herself? She might have had information on how to free her. At first, at the very first, I thought the Jabberwocky had some kind of like cloaking spell that she made herself look like Amara to fool Jafar. Hmm. At first, because I I was just like, what? Because they didn't show her, you know, them releasing her and how they released her. Um, what was interesting to me was that anytime um, Alice was at the palace, any of the palaces, the Red Queens or the Queen of Hearts, she was counting. Everything, she yeah. was counting everything. And it's like, so everyone is this predictable. Well, yeah, they're they're kind of on a routine. Like mm -hmm. we 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 saw just, before. How when, many? How much? How long did she spend in these places that she knows this? Well, she she has a really good memory. I I almost think Alice has um, 
not the f not it's not photographic memory but it's um seriously phone yes um not a photographic memory but it's um what is it hyper something hyper memory the few tv series have used it um and stuff it, it's where you basically can recall anything um and uh anything that you've experienced you can go back and and see again like you were just there and um they had a tv show like that what was that tv show called unforgettable unforgettable that's it yeah so i i think she's got a, a hypersensitive memory like that um where she was we know she was there once um her and and cyrus were were sneaking around the jabberwocky called them out and they ran out through the tunnels and escaped mm -hmm. so now you see her this episode when she's counting down knowing exactly where everybody's gonna everybody's gonna be at this time and I found that very figuring interesting. it all out so yeah that's the i think that's what that was all about but you know we saw her before in the the flashbacks where she was breaking mm -hmm. to cora's uh heart coffin heart yeah. sarcophagus area whatever the hell <laughs> her heart is. keeper yeah the her the, heart the vault <laughs> that's what it was the vault yeah um but yeah um i don't know i i hope we get to see some kind of flashbacks we see how amara was freed from the staff because that's kind of well, not very satisfying that no it wasn't she's just out and we don't know how and why yeah and... i i would really like to know how they freed her the chapter had to have known something because she's like i don't know how to do that but she does right right so there was something there yeah. is something and i wish they would have sh at least showed a little bit of it and if they don't show it on the last episode i'm going to be kind of pissed yeah for sure um so uh, alice had freed the sultan so i'm curious what, what role does the sultan play in all of this and how's well, he supposed to help he's... defeat jafar well he's very he's very like she said he's important to jafar um, he's trying to, he keeps trying to prove himself, even though he's, you know, tortured him and said that he doesn't care about him, but he cares. He wants, and, and at the end of the day, he wants his father's approval, which, you know, any little boy that didn't grow up with a father wants, he wants his father's approval. And I don't, I don't think he's going to get it. He's never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never Dude. gonna get it. And you want to know something? That song is in my head. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. But yeah, I don't think he's gonna get it. And never gonna get it. Never. Well, he's already said it once before. You know, you can do what you want, but what you can never get what you need from me. I'm never gonna give you what you need. It's true. Or something to that effect. Um, he thinks he wants the power. He wants, you know, the, the throne and everything. But all in all, all he wanted was his father's approval. He wanted to be recognized. He wanted to belong. Hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, even to this day when he's growing, he wants to belong. He wants to, he doesn't have it. He's, he doesn't belong anywhere. Right. But how is he going to be the undoing of Jafar? That's what I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe there's something else. Maybe, I don't know. That totally uh, baffles me. I have no clue how, how he's going to factor into all this. There's so many different ways that you can look at it. That. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so many different avenues to discover. There are. So what kind of unanswered questions do we have left now? Because we have one more episode. Next week is the finale. And... The, not the se not the season finale, the series finale. Series finale. Right. Well, is are the genies going to be freed? Um, so we need to know about the genies. Genies. And and I mean, indirectly, and we need to know about Sydney. Mm -hmm. And I did find it a little odd when Jafar called the two other genies and was like, I just wanted to look at you. I think he finally realized they look like each other. They look like Cyrus, but in the, but most part they all look you know resemble Amara. Right. So I think that's when he made the connection when he did the whole, you know, glass thing. Right. So I don't know. I mean, we have what's going to happen to the genies. What's going to happen to Will since he's a genie now? But if Jafar dies, what happens? Or 
you know, are they going to be combined? What's going to, you know, that kind of thing's going to happen. Is, is Cyrus and Alice going to be together? And if they're going to be together, they're going back to, you know, 1900, 1800, you know, late 1800, early 1900 England together. Will they remember? Well, you know, there's all these different things that... They could go back to Storybrooke. They, they could. And yes, and I think the only ones that... I mean, granted, Cyrus and um, Alice did go to Storybrooke, but I I think the only people that have connections to, like, the Enchanted Forest and that would be Will and um, Anastasia, since that's where they came from. Right. Yeah, it makes the most sense. I, I see Alice going home and getting the approval of her father and, and Cyrus living with them, and mm -hmm. I see that Getting married happily ever after. Yeah, I see that happening, because we haven't seen the father in how many episodes now? About four or five. Something like that. He was and, only uh, about one or two. Yeah, and you can tell that story was not resolved. So mm -hmm. if we do not see Alice's father in the finale, I would be very disappointed. Yeah. Um, so we need that. Um, we need the conclusion of the well. Mm-hmm. The returning the water. We need to figure out where that's going. Um, and they they need to j defeat Jafar. Like mm -hmm. Jafar can't just be like ha 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 and still be in Wonderland and <laughs> oh. it ends like that because that's not a satisfying finale. And they said no, that they wrote this not. to be a one off thing. And if they wanted to do more, they would. But it's supposed to be a completed chapter. And then we had the yeah. Jabberwocky say that um the only reason she was here right now is because of the fears everybody had with Jafar. So if Jafar left, she'd have no reason to stay. She'd have to move on. Right. So. Either they defeat Jafar or kill Jafar. Mm hmm So, um... Maybe the Jabrock will go to Storybrooke or something. Maybe she got caught up in the second curse. Could be, but uh, do you think they're going to follow the the movies in, in Aladdin and the Return of Jafar? Uh, Jafar was turned into a genie, right? Mm -hmm. uh, your dog agrees. Yes, my um, dog agrees with you. And, uh... In the, the Return of Jafar, uh, they were defeated the genie by throwing a lamp into lava. Yeah. Which we haven't seen any volcanoes in Wonderland, so... No, we haven't. I don't think they're going to be doing that um, necessarily, but... Um, do you think we're going to see genie Jafar? I don't know. I don't see it going that way. I mean, if they used him... Because they could do that whole spin, and he's like, we broke the rules of magic, but then they could do that whole thing, well, yeah. you might but be powerful, power. you it might be powerful, is. but the genie is still the most powerful being mm -hmm. ever, because he grants the wishes, and then... But, you know, I mean, and see, that could tie into the whole Sydney thing, but since they're two different actors, it'd be kind of weird. Yeah, no, they, um, couldn't, they couldn't say Jafar But that would Sydney. make sense. But, no, you know... there's no way and, they could do that. But, I mean, it would make sense. Mm. you know because you know he could be the be put back in there and be the genie and then that could be sydney but we know it's not not the same actor and we know that's not gonna happen but it would make more sense than i don't know <laughs> anything else we've thrown out there <laughs> don't shake your caterpillar body at me i can't <laughs> shake my body only my caterpillar head, <laughs> caterpillar head. my body is pretty stationary but yeah i don't know and then uh we get to see the rules of magic obviously we know that the um they're gonna uh, so jafar and amara working together is going to break the rules of magic we know this because we know for a fact anastasia and cyrus will be resurrected so mm -hmm. the rules of magic will affect that there's, there's no other oh, yeah. way around that we know that but um yeah it's interesting if to see if they're it's gonna have consequence and and everything the you know, I don't know. Yeah. Do you think I'll we're gonna to we're gonna see me and uh, I mean the caterpillar, um, and and or the Cheshire Cat in the finale? I hope so. I like the Cheshire Cat, and the caterpillar was pretty. I mean, he's interesting. He's. I am. Very complicated character. Really. I am a very complicated character. I'm very complicated. I am. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So next week we have um episode is called and they lived dot 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 yeah so do you think they're gonna get there happily ever after or... well, i think some are and some aren't who's not i don't think jafar's gonna get us happily ever after why not he better not i hope he does <laughs> i always root for the villains all the time 
maybe he'll go back to being a kid and maybe he'll want, you know, I don't know, maybe the Sultan will actually accept him. Who knows? Maybe. Hopefully. I'd like Hopefully. to see Jafar get his happy ending. I hope. It would be because he didn't start out bad like, like I hope uh, Alice Jabba and Cyrus. said, you know. I hope Alice and Cyrus don't. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, next week, the all-powerful Jafar succeeds in making his father love him. <laughs> and forcing Anastasia into thinking she loves him. Oh my god. So Anastasia's back. Confirmation right there. Mm-hmm. We've known this for a little while now, but mm-hmm. the, this is the official synopsis. Um, so yeah, so it looks like Jafar's getting his happy ending. He's got Anastasia and uh, and his father. There we go. Should I finish reading the synopsis? I don't think I should. I, I'm pretty happy right there. I think we should just end it there. Uh, no. That's just gross. I'm sorry, Anastasia with Jim Farr just makes me sick. No, come on, that's awesome. No, that's sick. Uh, anyway, after Alice, Amara, and Cyrus escape... Okay, so Cyrus is alive too, and there's your confirmation. Um, Jafar imprisons the Jabberwocky and calls upon an army of dead soldiers to do his bidding. So there's the walking dead. We now confirm the crossover. Uh huh. See everything. Everything we've been guess guessing so far this episode has come true. <laughs> um, meanwhile, Alice and the White Rabbit raise their own army to fight Jafar for the realm, and a final confrontation confrontation between Alice and Jafar take place at the Well of Wonders. Mm, interesting. So, yes. So we're gonna close off that story. I what my theory is that. Jafar is in fact going to turn into a genie somehow, some way, some form, whether or not he steals water from the well, whatever the case may be, um, and then destroys the well, because I could totally see Jafar destroying the well, yeah. um, creating the Cave of Wonders that we all know, mm-hmm. and either Jafar or Sydney or however is going to get buried into the Cave of Wonders in yeah, the Yeah, something's going to happen. That's I don't how, think the well, the well creepy lady will be too happy. No, maybe she'll turn into the a well giant witch. lion. I don't know. She's, she's she'll turn into a giant lion's head, tiger head, whatever it was. Uh, it's the tiger. cave. Yeah, yeah. So where do you think Alice is going to recruit this army? Oh, possibly Queen of Hearts. Um, maybe some um, defunct officers from. The Red Queen's army. Maybe they'll bring in the White Queen and what? I don't know. Maybe they'll go to Storybrooke. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Maybe they'll find. Maybe they'll she'll just go to every town and be like, "Hey, help us!" Maybe she'll go get her father and all his friends. His friends. <laughs> <laughs> My daddy's to gonna minute. beat you up. Yeah. My daddy could beat up your daddy. And you see <laughs> Alice's father and the Sultan go at it. That'd be the oh, best. Okay. I yeah. don't think that's gonna happen. But I don't know. It's I mean there's there's a lot more people in Wonderland than, you know, we've been shown, so Maybe uh mm-hmm. maybe they'll convince the caterpillar. Maybe uh enlist his help in creating the army to save Wonderland. Because I mean, if things turn under Jafar so it's not good for the caterpillar. So he'd have a stake in this. I could go for steak right now. Mm-hmm. I am the caterpillar, so I will put some steak in this. Okay. Indeed. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think that about wraps things up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Until till next next week. Till next week. <laughs> we'll all week. be crying like babies because the series is gone. I'll be cheering Jafar because he succeeded in doing whatever he wanted to do. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, Rachel, where can the people find you? Well, they can find me at Twitter at right on you, Savannah17. Mm. Where I'm uh, a whole bunch of nonsense. Yes. <laughs> right down there in the corner, you could uh, find me at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M, where you can see all, all my... All the caterpillar. All my caterpillar <laughs> antics. Um, you could find us all on, uh tvcaptive.com as well as on ASO TV podcast on Facebook Google Plus Gmail Twitter and right here on YouTube all uh, the stuff all the stuffs follow it leave us feedback comments questions what you'd like us to cover 
etc etc stuff we're and gonna things. have to fill this spot after next week mm-hmm mm-hmm so uh until next week see you guys later bye my arms totally got cut off there at the end when i had to reach <laughs> down to shut the recording off oh well these things happen. off with your head whoa off with my arms <laughs> my head stays intact i'm the caterpillar the caterpillar